Blessings, beautiful people. Um, I really just wanted to come on real quick and uh, share this with you. Um, so, as a child, we grow um, by eating, by eating food. Um, you know, when you're a baby, you start off with milk. And then you grow to eating meat, um, fruits and veggies. Um, and you grow and you get bigger the more you eat. So if you're eating healthy stuff, you know, you, you, you have good health. Um, but if you're eating unhealthy stuff, um, generally you'll have bad health. Um, the, word of the, the, the word of the Lord is the same way. Now, in order for us to live and sustain life, we have to eat. If we don't eat, we could starve to death and die. If we do not have the word of God, if we do not meditate on it, study it, we will starve ourselves and die. We will not be healthy in our faith walk. We won't have faith um, in God. We won't be able to trust him because we don't know what the word says we don't we we haven't fed uh, our faith we haven't fed our mind with the word so we cannot grow but we stay in one area in our walk we don't grow in understanding we don't grow in knowledge just like if you don't eat food you don't grow um and ultimately you could die but if you eat food and it's unhealthy um you can have unhealthy habits so if we are people of god if we're seeking god if we're following god and we're not properly eating the right or studying the word but we're going to we're looking to you know everybody else we're looking to the tv we're looking to politicians we're looking to all the wrong people and wrong things to feed us and it's causing us to be unhealthy in our walk with God. It's causing us to not understand and not believe when things come our way, when sickness come our way, when disease come our way. We, we don't know how to handle it. We don't know how to trust God. We worry and we fate and we get out of the way because we don't have faith. And what God says and faith comes by hearing and hearing of the word of God. So you can have if, if going to church and listening to a pastor and listen to someone teach you that grows your faith. But when you study the word of God, when you read it for yourself out loud and it gets down in your soul, that builds your faith to a place where you can believe God for anything. Uh, the, the Bible talks about what Elijah, when uh, the army was coming against him, um, uh, he had to have faith in God to know that God was with him. He had to tap into a supernatural realm that he could not understand by his own knowledge or by the world's knowledge or by other people's knowledge and understanding from the information that he got from them. He had to tap into the faith that he had in God, the trust, the reliance that he had in God. He had to tap into the food that he had stored up in his body. Um, or in his thoughts to sustain him when the enemy was trying to come against him and attack him. Um, so we as people of God have to get in the word daily. Uh, we have to have it every day. Like you eat and drink, you have to eat it every day. And sometimes you can fast, um, you know, but you have to, you can't fast from God. We, I mean, and when we fast, um, we should be fasting to get closer to God. So if we're going to grow in faith, if we're going to grow in knowledge, if we're going to grow in understanding of our kingdom, we must continue to chew on the word of God, meditate on it. Even when we don't understand it, sometimes when I read stuff that is difficult to understand, but that does not stop me from pressing in to the word of God. I need it daily, every day. 
And the more I get, the more I want. The more understanding he gives me, that's the Holy Spirit's job is to teach us all things. So in your reading, in your studying, you're not just reading and studying just to be doing it. Holy Spirit will come in and give you revelation. Jesus said, on this rock shall I build my church. On what rock? Not the rock of Peter, but the rock of revelation, knowledge of his word. But if you do not have word in you, you won't have faith. You won't be able to stand. You won't be able to endure. You you won't be able to understand what you have, what God has placed on the inside of you. God has dealt to every man a measure of faith, but we can grow in faith. We can grow in knowledge, but you cannot grow if you are not eating. If you are not eating daily, you will not grow. So open your book. Get in it, get into the word and allow Holy Spirit to give you understanding and revelation because on that is what he built his church on, on revelation. And revelation only comes from God. God has to reveal his word to you. But if you if you're not seeking him, he said, seek ye first the kingdom of heaven and all his righteousness. You have to be willing to seek it first. It has to be priority in your life. The word of God. And it must be absolute in your life. It must be supreme and authority in your life over anything. What people say, what your feelings say. You don't say what people are telling you. You must believe the word of God, but you cannot believe if you're not hearing it, if you're not studying it, if you're not seeking it, if you're not reading it. Uh, So be blessed, people of God. I love you. Get into your word. Um, Have a great day, people.